Oh, Mike, let me borrow you. <clears throat> Oh, oh my goodness. Hi. Right. So, let's say I'm here. Okay. So, closed guard. Okay, I have collar and sleeve. I'm going to go to an open guard here. The collar, sleeve, open guard here. Mike picks up his right knee as we've been doing here, okay? And I'm going to kind of stretch him out right here. And then I'm going to do that basic sweep here. Get this under hook here already because I don't, see how high you brought up that knee. If I don't get this under hook here, I'm gonna have a problem getting this under hook here. And if I stop passing here or way too long here, he's gonna bring in this knee shield. Okay, so the second I feel going down, I immediately just hook it here, and then from here, we go here and you pass. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll him flat. So, bring up the camera. So, I got it. Here, and I went immediately here. And now immediately I go for a long step pass, but this hand, I roll him here and I like to do this where I frame the head and I keep this knee outside. The one threat you have to understand is this arm framing your head and getting pushed this way and getting thrown and locked in the trunk. Okay? That is not good. But you're monitoring this arm right here. If this happens here, what I wanna do is I want to lock his head and that leg. So even if he begins to push my head, I can posture up, go to knee to the belly here. He'll have to do something here, react. It's all based on reaction. If he pushes that off, you get here and you go to north south. And then from here, we can proceed to go for Kimuras, Tarika Platas. You can go for the, what do you call, Barata Platas, uh, Darsas, all kinds of stuff, all kinds of little plus stuff. But the key here is really this arm and this leg. So as you get here, okay, and as I get here, I assume he's gonna wanna turn into me. Turn into me, Mike. So notice how if I don't control that leg, he's already, one. give me one more movement. Right there is already an open guard. So what I do is I go here and I begin to move my hips here, okay? This, I'm sorry, this hand right here is constantly forcing his leg this way here, okay? If he starts really forcing his leg out this way here, I'll get this leg here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna interchange from this leg to this leg here. And then I constantly look for the knee to the belly, okay? He pushes that knee off, I go here, and I'm constantly rolling him, rolling him. I can go here, here. I'm okay with this arm here because I know he's not gonna uh, throw me in the triangle here. The second I see this knee come up, I, I hook it because also keep in mind that he's his far arm is an underhook. Scooter, 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 scooter. The counter to this underhook here, he gets an underhook here, okay, right here. If I don't react properly, there's two things I, I have left to do. Either walk around north south as he slowly uses that underhook, go here and here, and I beat that underhook, okay. Or the other thing that you gotta do is the second that happens is this right here. This right here is a counter to this underhook. If I don't get a counter to this underhook, you should exploit this underhook and you should be able to get a reversal with some kind of improve your position, okay? So what I do is I hook here, okay? And I'm constantly monitoring this arm and I'm sliding my belly here because he takes it out. Yes, I can take this out right here and I go to this leg, okay? He begins to move around, I hook this leg, and I go here, and I'm constantly climbing, climbing, climbing. Yes, right there, and I get this near leg here, and go from near to far. It's all like, like a wrestling pin, basically, but what I'm doing is I'm keeping my hips by his head, not by his midsection here. So I'm controlling his head more so with my hips, and I'm using my hips to roll, but notice how much I'm moving. And I'm always trying to like, like I'm crawling to constantly, get my knee into the belly. He pushes the knee off the belly here. I go here, I can go here, here, here. He goes on the inside there, that's fine. I'm okay right here. Cause I know that that's not gonna work. This is not gonna work. Okay, so he'll have to take it out. And then this I roll it up, here. I go here, here. And then at some point, when you wanna really control him here, you wanna hit this leg and leg weave it and then turn him to the opposite side. 
and then you have a link reader, and I'll show you the number. But for now, let's just do this. So, also, whenever you're in a situation where you're in an open guard, always put that knee up and always come in here, okay? I, I prefer to beat this knee to be on top of it, to beat, beat this foot, but I assume he's gonna get a, a daily heave here, okay? But as long as I'm here, okay, it's a good situation for me to be here because I'm in what's called like a three quarters, three quarters, it's a headquarters or a combat base where I'm using this position right here to prevent myself from being pulled back in the guard and I can always have enough momentary balance to break his grip. And if I stand here, I walk out here, 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 and then I start that under. Even here, he doesn't have, the, the only way that he can push me in is if my head is real low. Even if it's real low, it's hard to push in right here, okay? So if your head's dangling here, you can push it in. If your head is, if you feel this here and your head's low, go ahead and push it in. Lock it to the head and he can't really get the leg around. And you block with the leg and then you switch your base, pull that arm out or here. Because now I go knee to the belt. He pushes me off the belly here. We hook this leg and now look, I'm already in the north-south. From here, I'm controlling here. Let's say I want to get back here. Controlling this, push it out here. Controlling this, controlling this, controlling this. If I see him blocking that mount, I'm gonna underhook this leg and I'm gonna weave this through here and I'm gonna have a very good opportunity for a very powerful mount. Because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move my knee right through here, okay? And he's gonna wanna get his legs back in the game slowly. He's gonna wanna, yeah, we don't want yeah, and you go here, and then you're able to get into a mount. And if you're even here, and now you get an NS mount, and you have controls. If you have this figure four seat belt here, you can take the back, all kinds of stuff right here, okay? But if you notice, everything was rooted off of control and movement. So what this is, is a lesson of controlling somebody through continuity of movement, okay? Using the, the legs, Far underhook, near underhook. And remember, the far underhook is a counter to the um, uh, their underhook. So you're gonna get into side control here, and this arm has to be able to move, okay? Move this arm over, and just hook this leg right here. And keep this arm so your elbow can open. He's most powerful when his knee is bent, okay? If you can get below here, and roll him out this way here, 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 even with half guard passing here, if I get stuck in a half guard here, I'll always underhook here, okay? Because if he underhooks, I have this as a counter. But if he begins to now clamp his feet together, not to let me pass, he's stuck. But what I have is an advantage here, is I begin to roll him flat here, pinch my knees, and I pull his legs apart right here and I open up that elbow so it's hard for him to bend his knee. If I keep my uh, wrist or anything in his knee pit, it's, he's got more power. But even this, I'm gable gripping, I'm pulling, and I'm opening here. So as my knees pinch, you pass right here, and now you keep this and you just put it down on the mat right here, frame the head, frame the leg right here. Like a push up, knee, here, 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 and you're constantly moving in a better, better, better position. But the key is to control from the far leg to the near leg. So the far leg, you're gonna start at a half guard. That'll be a good way to start. Whenever you're here in this half guard, you switch your base, weave the hand in, and you're here. He's pinching right here, okay? And now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna have left hand palm up, right hand uh, gable grip, I'm gonna pinch my knees together, and I'm gonna roll him flat this way here, wedging my left knee by his hip, and I'm gonna pull right here, and I'm gonna pinch his knees here. Because now as I get to right about here, it's hard for him to bend and lift this up, and all you're doing is lifting and going here. And now from here, just gonna control, control, control right here, 
knee to the belly. And you will come back, lift this near, near leg, far leg. Near leg. Now, you can turn them over this way here. That's it from your mouth. Go here. That's mouth. Whatever it may be. Just begin to use the far leg, near leg control and see how powerful it is, okay? One, two, three. Okay.